In the December 15th patch, there was also changes to Dark Zone. Today's video, we're going to go over what those changes were, what points look like, and what alliances have been doing or can be doing in the future. Let's get into it. Alright, so starting off, what exactly changed with Dark Zone? Uh, this is the 1215 patch notes. Uh, we went over this in the video down below, but we're going to uh, revisit this area on Dark Zone and then go over some other things to try to give us an idea uh, of what we're talking about before we get into what's actually happening right now. So, Dark Zone Hot Time. So before the uh, patch on 1215, there were two hours in the uh, middle of the day for EST and two hours at night. Uh, during those four hours in total, you got double points for everything you did in the Dark Zone. Uh, they have since changed it to 7 p.m. till midnight, but the points that you get are, are the same no matter when you go in during those five hours uh, window. Uh, this has caused an issue with some people because they will uh, get a character to the Maestro fight, uh, beat the level 100 storyline, and they can't continue into Dark Domain because Dark Zone is closed till 7 p.m. EST. Uh, so if they get done at, let's say, 10 a.m. or whatever, even 6 p.m., uh, they have to wait before they can progress because they're gated behind that 7 p.m. time. Uh, next, right here, increase Dark Zone points for defeating other heroes. So before this update, you could kill a player and get two points. Uh, so, if I killed a single player, I would get two points. That player dies, revives, comes back, I kill them again, I would get one additional point. And I could never get another point from that named player again. Uh, this has been changed, and uh, we'll go, I'll show you the uh, points that they are now, but the uh, quick, su uh, quick summary is it's ten. The number's ten. I'll show you the... A uh, picture from in-game in a second, but you get 10 points for a kill, and then you cannot get uh, points for that player again for 5 minutes. Uh, that can be changed if, let's say, uh, player A kills player B. Uh, player A and B both leave Dark Zone and come straight back in. A can kill B again and get points. Um, if the attacker leaves and comes back, uh, no points. If the person getting killed leaves and comes back, no points. They both have to leave and come back. Uh, or they wait the five minutes and then you can kill them again for points. Now, they don't, they don't say that right here, but I'll show you in the game where it does say that. Now if we come down here, they changed uh, what you got from killing the bosses in there. Uh, the non-primes and the primes, uh, as you can see, they change some things up. Uh, you get Dark Zone tokens for killing uh, your seven non-primes per day. This is your daily payout, not every time you kill one, but uh, people are very familiar with the 7-2. Uh, just like with your um, Most Wanted, you get additional prizes for killing seven non-primes and two primes. Uh, same in Dark Zone, you get both. Uh, so, in Dark Zone, you get these additional rewards for killing uh, the non-primes, and then these last three right here, you get for your two kills of primes. The numbers of both are depending on your contribution. So, if you're number one contribution, you get the most of these things. Now, if we come down here, uh, the ranking is a little bit better. Uh, it's the same exact Dark Zone tokens uh, payout per week, but they added gold to it, which uh, can really help with some bottlenecks. Uh, they increased the HP of uh, the Dark Zone Primes. <coughs> this is most notable in the level 110 Primes. and the level 100 Primes, it's not a huge buff, 
it seems as though it may have been a percentage or they just uh, gave more to 110 because they're 110 uh, but it is more uh, now right here I spent a lot of time working on this one dark zone prime target spawning adjusted so the non primes uh, are the same timer so they're roughly 45 seconds to a minute that's kinda hard there's a margin of error there so it could be either or you hear uh, about 50 50 of what I've heard is some people say 45 some people say a minute it's somewhere in between with server lag things like that um, if you play it off of a minute you won't be sorry uh, as far as primes this one has been a lot harder to find out the new timers uh, so before the <clears throat> update it was 15 minutes on the dot 15 minutes but it would be chance to spawn after 15 minutes so uh, the like bottom two spawn zones uh, you just keep doing your rotation 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 at the 15 minute mark it has a chance to spawn a prime there it's not guaranteed but it's a fairly high chance uh, we still I don't have any numbers on that of how likely they are to spawn but it's pretty high um, it's hard to tell you because they don't tell you a oh, roll right they don't say oh you missed it by 5% or whatever uh, but the new spawn timers on primes is hard to tell right now because it's a highly contested thing right now uh, alliances are fighting each other really hard uh, I will go, I'll tell you the strategies that are happening shortly uh, after I show you the point system and uh, but it seems so I am for sure it is between 20 minutes and 25 minutes uh, most of my recordings uh, sound like 20 minutes but I do have some uh, sightings of 25 unsure if that was because of fighting over the prime uh, but after the time that the prime is killed a prime cannot spawn in that location for 20 to 25 minutes uh, I want to say it's closer to 20 um, I'm sorry I can't give you exact numbers but that is no one can give you exact numbers right now because uh, I've been asking all the top alliances and most of the servers including EU uh, SEA and uh, even the Korean servers I've been asking around everywhere uh, they added right here they did something very interesting where they took out the dark zone um, the dark zone cards from uh, the boxes from the drops now you get dark zone uh, tokens from the uh, up here dark zone tokens from your seven uh, non-prime kills and they added uh, right here two to four star dark zone rare omega card box five times a week for 200 tokens per so you can spend up to a thousand tokens per week to get some omega cards that you were getting before but now they made it so that you don't have to just get cards you can get cards or something else because uh, the dark zone store can give you other things as well as now you can get free crystals which is pretty important uh, now let's check into the numbers so right here we have the current in-game point system you can see this end game as it is now uh, at the bottom right hand corner you can see it's kinda grayed out uh, the dark zone timer that exclamation point in the bottom right is the button that I clicked and I'm on the fourth out of five options where it's explaining the point system uh, this is the game files this is how it is working uh, these are the points that you get so for uh, killing a prime you get anywhere f between 32 and 185 points this is based off of participation so if you have dealt the most damage to that prime before it dies you will get the 185 points uh, this is a little wish-washy because of the levels of the primes uh, it's a little bit less for the level 100s and this is the number based off of the level 110s uh, which are the highly sought after ones the blue right under it is the non-primes 
Uh, so Kermzen, things like that. Unstable Sentinel, other ones. Uh, you get 12 or 12 or 20. It, it shows 12 to 20, but it's 12 or 20. Uh, if you hit it at all, uh, and it's a level 100, you will get 12. If you hit it and it was a level 110, you'll get 20. Uh, it's very by the books numbers. And then we see down there at the bottom, killing a player is 10 points. Uh, so this is the current point system. Uh, now we'll get into strategies that are currently happening in Dark Zone. So this is last week's uh, Dark Zone title uh, payouts. We see the top three right here. Half Send, Wolverthor, and Agent XYZ. Uh, shout out to Half Send and Wolverthor. They are fellow content creators. I will have their links down below. You can check them out. But <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to speculate of uh, how they got to the points that they got. Uh, you can see Agent XYZ and Wolverthor were relatively close. Half Send was way beyond that. Uh, I'll go over in a second of uh, what the options are, but what I can tell you 100% is uh, they're not just picking one hour. Uh, they're not going in at 7 o'clock and getting out at 8. Uh, they're making it a 4 to 5 hour experience. So over here we can look at... And this is this week's current Omega Flight Dark Zone points. As you can see, the top player, Toxic, is head above the other players and rivaling uh, what the Hafsen did the week previously. So it seems as though there's some evolution going on here. Uh, after talking to other big alliances on other servers, Sakar, uh, Jodenheim, uh, Magardia, uh, Frozen Peaks, a bunch of other big uh, servers, is uh, so we have we now have the five hour time slot right uh, 7 p.m. till midnight or depending on your region it's those five hours uh, we've seen an evolution at least on my server and a few others that as soon as uh, this went live um, people were just going in and uh, playing it like it was the old dark zone uh, do do your rotation over and over and then if there's PvP there's PvP then as the weekend came about um, people were starting to notice the PvP numbers uh, were decent and how hard the primes were to kill so then some of the top alliances depending on the server uh, would camp primes now what do I mean by that I mean they would never actually kill the prime as we saw it's uh, 300, uh, 320 points for a prime kill, a level 110 prime kill. But if you kill 32 players, you get the same points. Uh, and if an entire alliance is doing the rotation and sees a prime, they're all going to go to said prime, right? So that's that can be up to uh, 50 players. Uh, that's another thing that um, people have been talking about. Before this update, the cap on the zone was 50. Um, we don't know what the number is. It's somewhere between 60 and 100, uh, but it is no longer 50. That That's for sure. We've seen that definitely, uh, but still trying to work out exact numbers. Uh, so this sitting on the primes is making it difficult for people to do their kills. Uh, what a lot of these uh, lower level alliances are doing are running at the big alliance, camping the prime, dying, respawning, and then going right back there out of rage. Uh, what these uh, players should be doing is go over, hit it, die if you die, and then go about your business somewhere else. Or uh, find a better time, or try to figure out what works for you in the dark zone. If you're coming in as a fresh level 100, uh, 300, 400k, and then you got a group of 2 million players, you're not going to be able to compete against them. That's just not going to happen. Um, now, another thing that people are doing is, these are the last two things I wanted to talk about. Uh, 
right now we're seeing um, prime hopping. And what I mean by that is um, they will come in at the beginning of the hour, kill, do the rotation in zone 1, uh, wait for the primes to spawn, uh, get two or three uh, primes done, hop to channel 2, do the same thing, hop to channel 3, do the same thing. Uh, during the time that they're hopping, they're doing PvP because other uh, alliances are trying to do their uh, Dark Zone. I'm not saying if this is right or wrong, I'm just telling you this is what's happening and our options for people to do is uh, they will PvP uh, while killing these primes and then once the primes are dead ignore the PvP and jump to the next server. Because you've already you've probably already killed this player uh, once or twice already while killing that prime so you're not going to get anything off of them, leave, go to zone 3 and then do the same thing back and forth. Um, and then once all three are done, they could, uh, depending on the efficiency of these players, they could get the whole thing done in five to eight minutes. And they log out and then come back in uh, 20 to 25 minutes after that when the prime starts spawning again. Uh, this turns your one hour time into a three to four hour time. Uh, depending on how you want to do it, um, you could have scouts. Uh, one player goes in, looks, checks for primes, and then the rest of the alliance goes in. And another thing that we're seeing, the last thing I wanted to talk about, was uh, it's a weird thing with primes. As I told you, you get the points on the primes based off of contribution, right? So what's happening is... Uh, Every, everyone unloads on the Prime. The Primes are harder to kill now, so it's harder to feed, uh, give the killing blow or highest damage to one person. Uh, so an option for alliances out there is everyone wails on the Prime, and then if you're just trying to get one person the points, once it, it's about to die, everyone else, or everyone above that person in damage, jumps to channel 2 or channel 3 or whatever other channel. What that does is it wipes their damage off the chart. So if I'm in fourth place uh, and we're killing this prime, you can see the damage chart and then when it's half a bar, quarter of a bar, however your damage is doing uh, and it's about to die, the three people above me will jump to channel 2 and I'm immediately first place and I get that 320 points, even though I probably didn't do uh, the work to get the 320 points, right? Uh, and then you can do the same uh, strategy I was just talking about. Uh, do that to kill a prime in zone 1, then uh, swap behind your uh, alliance to channel 2. Kill a prime over there the same way, right before it's dead. Everyone else hops to 3 to start getting a prime spawning for you. You finish killing the prime, jump to uh, channel three, and then once you go back and forth and get the four, uh, four, eight, twelve primes dead, then you have a resting period, and then you go back in afterwards. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think I missed any options here, or if you think uh, any of this should be changed, or if you what is happening on your server. Till next time, guys.